let's jump over. Let's jump over. We got we got to go to the to the collegiate level. Yes, please. Let's yes. talk about it. A lot that game last night, y'all. I lost it. Yes. I lost it. Yes, an amazing. Well, I mean, it's been an amazing tournament, and I will say that I I feel like as much as you know, I'm a Duke fan, and I want Duke to win every year. I did feel like this is like a, a breath of fresh air because we got to see a lot of different teams. Um, that that probably you know would not have gone as deep in the tournament if we had the those heavyweights uh, yeah. in in the tournament this year. So I, I like it from that standpoint, um, you know. But to going back to to to, to the Final Four and this uh, Gonzaga UCLA game, which is kind of crazy in itself that UCLA is 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 the um, the fairy tale uh, you know story this season, you know, um, because they were they're a powerhouse. Uh, school. Yeah. But that game was amazing. Um, amazing. Jalen Suggs, amazing. who I, I I first and I you know I, I love I love sitting because we're like we're big uh, NBA 2K supporters. You know we have the tournament every year, the charity tournament we do every year. But a lot of the, the times where I learn about these guys coming in, I learn from playing 2K and having them come into the to, to my seasons as I go you know further on in the franchise. And then once I see them there, then I start looking at them. All right, let me all right, where did he where did he go to school? Okay, he went over here. And then I start looking in. So Jalen Suggs was one of those guys that I was I, I saw and I'm like, all right, I think this kid could, you know, he could be good. But to see him last night and what he was able to accomplish in that game, um, you know, him and, and, and Timmy as, as well. I thought they played an amazing game last night to get to the national championship. But Jalen Suggs, he had he had a block um late in the game that you know that could have had to had the swing going in UCLA's direction and then the shot to to win it in overtime. I mean, what more could you say about the kid? He played his heart out. The whole team played their hearts out. Well, I want to, I absolutely, I don't want to take anything away from Jalen because what he did was amazing. But I have to say that game was some of the best basketball, college basketball I've seen played in a really, really long time. And forget about Blue Bloods, forget, it. this season has been weird. It's been really, really weird. And yes, it's, you know, yes, UCLA has been a powerhouse in the past, not so much recently, but that game was literally whoever had, I, I felt like whoever had possession of the ball last was who was gonna win that game. Because it was literally bucket after bucket after bucket. It was an instant classic regardless of how it ended. And now that Jalen ended it the way that he did, of course it's like historic and you know that will forever be relived every March. But I have to give credit to every single player that stepped on that court last night. They balled out, like it was, beautiful beautiful basketball from the coaching to some of the big time plays ice in their veins I mean play after play and they would answer and then answer again and three I mean it was crazy I was losing it but that shot in OT after UCL because because he went up right and he missed but he gets his own rebound he gets the he gets the bucket and then for Jalen to take that shot and actually hit it my jaw dropped I literally did not speak for like five minutes yes. I was just like yes I froze I froze that was stupid like you can only dream about moments like that I mean Mario Chalmers kind of had a similar moment just gonna throw that out there since you know I always have to bring up Kansas but uh, Chalmers, it, it, it also throw in uh, you know the late man Grant Hill uh, you know yeah, that, that, that yeah, but, no, but I just keep it Kansas so yeah all, of course uh, but I'm just saying is you know yeah. we have to highlight Duke basketball when we say these well, things because yeah. We don't because have of the well, you know, when you talk about just the level of championships, that type of you know success that the school has had with Coach K, not only coaching, you know, at the collegiate level, also you know on the Olympic level as well, and things he's accomplished. So you know, I just like to throw those things in there. But, but you have to, you have to understand, we yeah. allowed all these other teams to play this year, and look at look at the respect, right? There's no yeah. respect. We we are letting you compete. Are you kidding me, letting? Oh, would you stop? Listen, I'm not even, I'm not even going to go there, whatever. And let me just, since you had to throw in Coach K in the Olympic, I mean, Bill Self has a, ha, did that as well. So I just, uh, you know, and he never gets the credit. He never gets respect. So. He's Coach K. It's in a name. You got to have a nice name. Like Coach K just has a ring to it. You know, it's, oh, it sounds hmm. like something, you know? Okay. Anyway, back to Jalen Suggs, who deserves the attention right now, not Duke. So let's just let's let's move on. But honestly, that was some seriously amazing basketball. And, and as well on the women's side, too, there's been some really great games. So just want to shout out the women as oh, well, yeah. especially since the NCAA doesn't love to show love that way, that direction these days. So 
Yeah. We're, we're definitely, we will show them love. But that game was an instant classic. It was amazing. That gave me like faith because I, I have to disagree with you, Trip. I didn't think this tournament has been this the, that great. There's been a lot of blowouts and a lot of boring basketball, in my opinion. March is supposed to be like the best of the best. And I understand it's COVID. So it's definitely had an impact for sure. Uh, but that game last night, that could have been the national championship game. So yeah. I'm a little nervous now seeing the Zags because honestly that Zags team is ridiculous the talent Kispert I mean he couldn't miss a shot Timmy is ridiculous I it's just crazy um obviously Jalen but now we're stepping in in with Baylor and I mean I'm big 12 so I get it and Baylor's Baylor's been great are they Zags level great I don't know I mean that game blowout I I'm really hoping not, especially after what we just witnessed. If I don't see good basketball, it's going to like in the first like five to 10 minutes, I'm going to be really disappointed because that game, yeah. I don't know how you, I don't know how you top that game. Yeah. Yeah. I, it, it, was, it was an amazing game. Um, amazing. It, it's kind of like, you know, one of those where those years in the NBA where we like, oh, the championship was played in the Western Conference Finals or, or Eastern Conference Finals because yeah. we know once we yes. get to the championship. It, yes. They're gonna be dominant. It was kind of, it's kind of like that. I do hope it is a competitive game, um, because j- just the build up from seeing what we just saw in that game. If we come into this game and it's a blowout, then it's gonna be like, ugh. Well, and also because the Zags are undefeated, and this is like the first time in yeah. a really, what was it since the seventies? I think it was since in seventy nine. Yes, seventy nine. So, so that's that's been riding on them. They've been like chasing this thing the whole season. So now we're down to the wire. It is the final game. Can they pull it off? And honestly, if they if it is a blowout, that kind of is like that sucks. Like I want to see them have to fight hard every Not game without, through this. Yeah. You yeah. know, to, to like really earn that, earn that title. But I mean, listen, that game last night, that was everything. It was, that was the best basketball game I've seen. Even pro, like that game was why I love college basketball. That's why I watch basketball. That was everything you could ever possibly ask for. I mean, from the coaching, the fans, I mean, some of the like fan reactions, I mean, J- the locker room, like that's what I live for. That stuff is everything. And to see him to, you know, be able to perform at that level at that age under that amount of pressure. It's awesome. It's amazing. Absolutely. Energy and team. That's that's how you get to Aaron's heart. You get an you get energy and you get a team and she'll love that team. Right. She'll love the game. They, the t- no, it really truly they played as a team. Yes, of course, they're all superstars in their own right and they're all great at what they do, but they truly are a team. And I I watched a lot of behind the scenes stuff too with you know Kisper playing his whole four years and him actually taking like leadership classes on his own to learn how to lead that like blew my mind like because I, I was like I don't really like that kid I don't know I don't know about him <laughs> then I started to learn more about him and and the you know coach was saying like he's taken on such a leadership role in the locker room with the players really learning how to lead a team that's awesome I mean these are skills that you can take on and you know obviously it's bigger than basketball so but yeah, yeah I, they're all superstars. And honestly, for me to even speak that highly about a Gonzaga team when I'm ride or die Kansas, you know, it's it's real. It's real. I'm going to tell you this right now. And I knew I, I once I know I noticed it last night. I had seen it before, but I couldn't put my finger on it. And I figured it out. The reason why Gonzaga has been playing so well is because of Timmy's mustache. Oh, the stash. What do you think it the is? Stash. It's got a stash. It's that he got the '80s thing going on with the with the headband. He always flexing and whatnot. It's cracking me I up. It's yeah. cracking me up. I, it's got it's got to be the stash. That's the only way. If if they win a championship and they go on and they're undefeated, I'm telling you, it's the stash. Now, Eric, you know yeah. I can call it when it's the head situation because I said when Shumper had the sumo, uh, you know, the wrestler, the bun up on top. Mm-hmm. I said the Cavs were going to win that year because you of did that. say that, and then they wound up winning. You so did. I, you did I, call that. Yeah, you know I can. I'm I'm kind of good like that. I got to got a sixth sense about these kind of things. So the so, stash is gonna take home the national championship. That's what you're saying. Yes. It's, 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 all right. It's, it's the stash. combo. To, it's the you combo to stash first. and Suggs. It's the combination oh, man, of, of stash. Not and the Suggs. headband, but Suggs got it. Yes, right. but yeah. I I will say, Aaron, you you brought some great points to it as well. It was the best college basketball game of the year. Uh, one of the best basketball games we've seen over the last year, pro or college. Um, I thought it was a higher level game uh, in terms of coaching. Like you said, UCLA was down five with about 45 seconds to go. They come out of a timeout. They hit a three 
and then get the defensive stop and then come down and hit the layup, yes. which was crazy. That and then was as, insane. Yeah, and then as, as Tripp mentioned, Suggs has three of the best plays of the game really late in the game because not only the block, but the pass after the block. The bounce pass from half court leading Great. to a layup when, like, when, it, wow. when it looked like UCLA wow. was taking control of the game. Yeah. So and then and then of course highlighted by the half court shot. He just reminded everyone. In, in my opinion, he's well, a top three. Tell me three. that charge too. Tell me that was a huge, huge charge. Yes. That was and, brilliant. That yes. was brilliant. You can't even. I don't even know that you can coach that as much no. as, as like you. No. That was in him. That was natural. That was exactly what to do. That's crazy. The high level, level the high level IQ. Yep. Right. High level IQ crazy. because we got to remember he had the four fouls. Yeah, he had the four fouls. He had had the four. So a lot of guys would have been very selfish. A lot of guys would have been very selfish in that situation and try to just go for the block. And like he he put his body out there, high level IQ. Um, But Suggs reminded us again why he's a top three pick in a draft. You know, no matter who you have going one or two, I think he's in that conversation as a top three guy, complete all around game. And uh, I expect it to be a really good game because Baylor has been one of the top five, top six teams most of the season. So I, I think it's going to be a very good game. But I think at this point, the Zags have, have met their biggest challenge. Yeah, They were able to overcome it. They knew what it was like to play a tough game. Going yeah. into last night, I was very interested going into last night. And when they showed those highlights of UNLV losing to Duke and yes. Kentucky losing yes. to Wisconsin, I thought that was the death nail. Because yes, normally when you, show, when you show those, it's almost like, uh, I don't think yes, this is going to go the right that. way. Yes. Right. If I, I, and and I was thinking, hit her before, it's, before it happens. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Well, I was thinking about that too, because as a Kansas fan, and I've been in those situations before, and I was so glad last night that I was able to actually watch and enjoy the game and observe like everything you were just saying. I was able to actually like break down the plays and the IQ and the vision and all of the things happening. Because as a fan, you're not able to, you're not like, right. you can't invest in, in the game when you're a fan like that. So it was, it was amazing, but it's so funny you brought that up because when they did that, I was like, is that like the Sports Illustrated yeah. cover? Like, yeah. is that what you just did to these yeah. kids? Like, did, cause you have to sleep tonight. Yeah. How? Cause you put that up right now. Yeah. Like I, I was so, I was like, no, 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 no. Don't do that to them. But I have to, I mean, you say LA, they played just as hard and just as smart as, yeah. as the Zags. Yeah. And, we, and we beautiful basketball. And we can't overlook, like I said, in, in terms of challenge, going into last night, I think it was something like 27 of their 28 games with double digit wins. They hadn't played in very many close games. Yeah. So being able to play a high level, like we talked about, high IQ game, close, coming down to the wire and figuring out a way to win. I think they go into tomorrow night with so much confidence yeah. And I think they win. I think it's going to be a good game, but I think ultimately the Zags win. Yeah, I, I agree. I got I got to go with, with the Zags on this one. Uh, really- Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Real fans, real talk, we as real as you thought. 